coming to you from the dark. Right, power went out. Yes, welcome to the new Sue Review, coming right, right at you. you. Um, so just as we started painting and getting all set up and we're about to blow dry, I didn't I didn't start blow drying, so it was not my fault. The whole block went out, you guys. So. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Accidental. I just did it. Okay. So. <laughs> Up oh, there it goes. All right, it's just gonna go in and out, you guys. I'm so sorry, but we promised to be here, so we're gonna be here. I wanted to show you. Here's our setup. We've got one of our flashlights. We got Pam's flashlight on um, Pam's phone on flashlight mode. Flashlight mode. So, and it's still pretty light outside, but everybody's out. So, I'm trying to get this thing to stay. <laughs> oh. Hold on. <laughs> oh, we're already punchy. It just doesn't want to stay. All right. Southern. There we go. So, tell them what we're going to do tonight, Agnes. We are going to do a comparison between stamping rollers and stencils. Yes. Have you, uh, what have, um, shout out if you have a preference, if you've tried both, if you've tried neither. Uh, let us know what your experience level is, um, and we'll try to take it from there. But um, we have both in the store now, and I just am really excited. So they both arrived the same week. So we got the stamping rollers from Jennifer Ferguson, which I've been having a ball with, and I can't believe I waited this long right. to use them. I'm sorry, Jennifer. Um, but they are fantastic. So they come like this, and then... We've been using them all afternoon, so they're a little wet. And then they have a roller and then a stamper on the end. And they are so fun. So yeah. we're gonna show you guys how they work. And then, pass me that stack. So then I also met this fantastic gal who came in one day. Um, this is pretty funny. She came in one day. <laughs> I don't think she'll mind me telling you. Do you remember when we first met Leslie, Pam? She was having a hot flash and she basically came into the store and like stripped down to like had off everything off that could be off in public. And then by the time she left, she's like, she's cold and she's putting everything back on again. And I, she was such a hoot and I just loved her so much. And she, um, which I don't know how we started talking about stencils. I really, I don't even remember. We were all laughing at her so much, but she had this look about her, this style, this essence and um she said let me tell you about what i do and she showed me her page rhythmic walls and i went oh my gosh so let me show you she hand makes she designs and hand makes all her stencils and we are selling them all here look at this y'all ain't gonna find that at michael's or on amazon or amazon this is handmade hello by a local artist and they're freaking beautiful all right do you mind if i just take one and pass it to you they're so big this one's amazing i know you guys have seen some that are chandeliers but not like this and turn it upside down it reminds me of an ice cream cone yeah except the ice cream's falling off the side well that's okay, okay. just lick it off just lick it off just lick it um this one's really fun so these are giant wall stencils i think is that so um, Leslie uses, so paints and metallics and there you go. Agnes, where'd you go? And mica, she makes her own mica flakes. I mean, this gal is amazing. And then look at this one here. Isn't that pretty? Yes, it <gasps> is. That could be a sort of art deco with yes. fans or yes. it could be seashells. So the first question we have to ask ourselves is the nature of the project 
And I mean, I'm still trying to figure this out because these are two new products that came to me in one week. And so that's why we thought we'd do a live about this. Like what, what is gonna tempt us one way or another? So I'm gonna see, I don't know if they're gonna be able to see, but I wanna show you guys what we did in Bold and Brazen an hour ago. Wait, I'll get accidental Agnes, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I might knock over the whole wall. We just wall got or the something. purple paint off her face. Yeah, but all, um, yeah. as y'all know, Agnes and I have a, a private creative group, and uh, this month is all about painting fabric and upholstery. And so we've used the rollers. Hey, Carol, we've used the rollers for a variety of projects that have been super fun. And today we did uh, a patio umbrella, and we did this thing in what, ten minutes? Probably. Yeah, 10 minutes. So if you have something that does not require precision, mm -hmm. overlapping is good, and playfulness, I would say the roller. So I'm going to show you guys really quick what we did, and then we're going to show you how the roller works. Does that sound good? It's fabulous. Okay, ask them what color they want. Or should we do? Or should we just plan on the purple, because that'll really show up on here. Your oh, yeah, it'll your show up on all this. looking gorgeous in this light. The necklace is looking gorgeous in this light. <laughs> Pam made this. Look at this. Isn't it pretty? Um, they're from a chandelier that I got up in Brimfield years ago. All right, let me see if I can show them what we did. Ready? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. All right. I have to go in front of you, Agnes. Ready? All right, who can see? We can't see what we're doing anymore. Pam, can you look on the camera? Because we're hidden now. Are we on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're on. Okay. Actually, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, so this is what we did. We used two different patterns. I'm just twirling it. We used two patterns and Donkey. four colors. Donkey. And uh, there's somebody licking my feet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he has a foot fetish. Oh, if he only does. if it was raining, this would be appropriate. Yeah. For us. Okay, so that's what we did. And luckily we figured out to take it off the bracket before. Right. We yeah, we took the fabric off of the frame. And obviously we're not superstitious. Right. You remember that. No. Superstition, okay, don't so you? So let's show them how these work. It's bad luck to open And we're ones. not going to do full, we don't have much juice and we don't have much power and we don't have much light and, you know, but we're going to try to do something fun for you guys. Hi, anyway. Michelle. Oh, and look, look at this one. Here's another one. I mean, look at, look at that. Oh That's God. a lot of detail. And these aren't that expensive. No, they're, they're not, not. No, they're all under, I think they're between 45 and 90. Okay. I mean, that's compared to what you're gonna pay on Royal Design Studio. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing. So what we did is we painted, we just painted some boards that were supposed to be dry, but we ran out of power. Right. So we didn't get to zap them with the. We didn't get to zap them, but I think they'll work. I think they'll work. So I think that one over there might be. Yeah, more that good. one's probably good. So let's do some rolling first. Um, let's show these guys how this works. So I'm gonna let's see. If Bohemian. We can, yeah, I think that's what I have on there is the Bohemian. Can you move that over so I don't knock it over? my wine out of the way yeah okay so this is how it works you guys so we have this thing here I can take this out now it's just sopping up the moisture and what we learned earlier is put your piece in and roll this first uh, don't put the stencil and the roller in at the same time is that good yep yay okay we're gonna use because we've really are we going to use that purple? We're going to use that purple. Woo! We've been using, uh, how do you like that? <laughs> We've been using Dixie Belle paint. Yeah. And Which this is, is their uh, amethyst color. This is amethyst. Um, if y'all look on my website, you can see a chair that we painted and rolled in this color. Also, we did that in Bold and Brazen. That was so much fun. Now, what we have found is definitely to just roll it on here. But you can also just spread it around with your... Did we grab the other paintbrush? There's one right there. If you don't mind. It's a little bit covered in color, but y'all know I don't care. So just move it out to the sides. Let's see. 
just join. Hey Paige, we are in the dark. The power has gone out. So we are using our phones as flashlights and we're on my new T-Mobile account, uh, which is holding up pretty well. So we're excited about that. Okay, so this is uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, right? Yes. Was that your wine? No, that was oh, my Oh my God. Phone. Oh, thank God. Priorities. Then you put this in and then you have a friend help you so that you don't lose the first thing. <gasps> we did it. Cool. We did it. And teamwork. Then, teamwork. And then I'm gonna roll it here a little bit. Okay. All right, so now, and then what I like to do too, just make sure I have it on all the nooks and crannies. Nooks and crannies. Yep, all right, so we got it there. So let's go to this one that's pretty dry. Oh, here, I have to move this on top of it so people can see. Can y'all see that okay? It's at a weird angle, sorry. Hey Janet, we're using this paint again. All right, so here we go. So what's really fun, you guys, is you don't have to be perfect, because we are far from that. Um, and you can overlap, so just check it out. So you put it down, and then roll, baby, roll. Look at that, no bleed through issues, nothing, nothing. And then we can just go right next to it. I'm spilling because I left water in mine, but that's okay. It's all good. And then I'm just going right up to the edge. I'm not, I don't have to match it. That's what's so fun. It don't matter. Look, it's just super fun. Now, hey, hey there. So. I just am having so much of a good time with this. And what I really like about it is that I know you guys are going to say, don't mess it up, Sue, don't mess it up. But I, we always mess it up because I want to show you what the other options are. I'm just going to go over this again in another direction just to show you how you can mix and match all these patterns in crazy ways and crazy colors. That's what we did on the... Um, Evie. That's what we did. Umbrella. What's that? She had signed up to come tonight. Oh, I didn't have a sign up. Oh my goodness, well come on in. We start at six. Come see. I think maybe we ought to give her a credit for that class. Where's the other, um, where's the other, where did I just put it? What? The other board? No, the other um, paintbrush. Sure. Yeah, we'll give you a credit for another night, my dear, but come on in and see what we're doing anyway. Okay. I just had it. Live TV, baby. Live TV. We just put it on. Oh, is it under here somewhere? No. Ah! Tammy, will you find me a paintbrush of some sort? All right, I just want to show you guys putting on a different color. Oh, we need something that's different than this, though, because that's not um, a good enough uh, contrast color. I know, I know. This, this is insane. Just grab one from the bathroom. Here, yeah, we'll put right. on the red. Oh, you Go can't on. see in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm just going to do it with my fingers. In the if we can't find the paintbrush, or did it fall? It I must have fallen. I can't see it on the floor. Okay. Me neither. And as hungry as Pepper is, I don't think he's hungry enough to eat a paintbrush. I do have oh, I know, I know. Where do we put the tray? That's, it's on the tray. There, it's on the tray. Tray, there it is, yes. Okay, all right, you guys. So, I'm just gonna do a, compl a, a complimentary color, okay? Y'all see? I know. So, I'm just gonna put this red right over the purple. So don't do this if you're using colors opposite on the color wheel, right? Yeah. We learned that the hard way. But you can do this if your colors are next to each other on the color wheel. Okay, so we got it. This is gonna be fun. All right, so now watch what happens, you guys. And 
Can you see? Check it. Yeah, because we didn't have tickets for this week because we didn't have a project. Well, there's so, meetup that says 6.30 to 7.30 tonight. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We always have it on meetup. It's always there in case you want to come and join us. Okay. But that's free. You didn't pay. Right. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, I don't want you to pay for this. Absolutely. So, you guys, check it out. So, you can kind of keep going with different... Isn't that fun? And what Agnes and I did on the other piece is we actually did it with metallics. So I so just doing different um, patterns over and over, overlapping. That's where this is super duper fun to use. Um, let's do one more color so you can really see. And the other... The other roller. I'm sorry, guys. So the problem is that the bathroom... The bathroom is um, pitch black, so it went totally black while we were trying to get all the supplies together. So that's part of the problem. Um, I'm going to go talk to our guests. I'm going to go see if I can find the other roller in the dark. Okay. Wish me luck. I'll be back. Hey, why don't you, why don't you go ahead and take my phone with you so you have a flashlight? Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, thank you. Got to make do with what you have, right? So, um, we, I don't... I think she was a little mistaken about the metallics. We used metallics on one of the bags, and that was the Lumiere paints. But for the patio umbrella, we used four four different colors, I think it was. Yes, we and did. And we used two different patterns of the stamping roller. So um, we used the Bohemian Rhapsody and the... <gasps> Power! And, the, and somebody said, let there be light, and there was. So, Yay! Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, back now. huh? I'm gonna Power's pick. back. So, oh, wait. That one was Bohemian Rhapsody. What's this one? Moroccan. Oh, the Moroccan. Hey, Moroccan. All right. Let's do something with Moroccan. Moroccan Damask was it. Is okay. what it was called. Okay. So, the way you change these up is you make a huge ass mess, right? And I don't have it in my gloves. Get on. your gloves on. Oh. Um, so I'm going to take these off. You turn all your flashlights off. I do. Okay. So we're going to use a green, and so I'm not going to put the green against the red, because I'm a good girl. And we yeah. did that. We did, we did that, that earlier. Both. We did that earlier. <laughs> so if anybody wants to roll on baby shit brown, I'll teach you how. I won't even charge extra. Okay. Let's do, should we do the, let's do the green. Oh, yeah. Tanglewood green coming up. Oh, is she still here? Yes, I'm here. Oh, good, good, good. You're welcome to come back here. Yeah, we have a seat over here. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do, it's on there. Oh, that's the, um, okay. There you go. All right, so we're going to put the crazy Tanglewood green. Hey girl, uh, right on the roller. I'm not gonna roll it through because we don't need to. Okay. Don't you love that shade? It's so nice and bright. It is. And surprisingly, when it dried on the on the umbrella, it kind of you know vanished. It did. I think it's because the umbrella it, was um such a dark color. I think it was because it just soaked it in, just absolutely and completely. Suck it, suck it, it's suck it, suck it. Okay, so this is the other roller we're trying. So first I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on top. See, that's why you need a friend. How it looks on top of, got it, there we go. And then kind of roll it on, there you go. Give it a little extra, can you see there? Okay, so what I'm gonna show you here, it's going right here on top of it. So you can see one more color. So you can just go nutty nutty with this. See? Fun! I mean, you can't, you can, almost can't go too far. I don't know, right? right? All right, let me have the green back. So let me show you this alone on one of the other. Will it show up on there or there? The green won't show up on there very much, but. Um, on the beige? Right. 
So you guys, right. I think I think this is best for like um, the beige. Wait, what did you guys decide? The beige or the green? Turquoise one probably show up more. Okay, so we're gonna put that back on there. I think this is really fun if you're doing like mixed media um or your walls or like you guys like a bathroom wall or a small powder room um where stencils are sometimes hard to work with i mean we're gonna go over it but all right so here's the other one love the roller i'm just uh this is both wait the last one was bohemian rhapsody and this is moroccan this damask. is moroccan damask we have about five different ones in here right now but we can also order more Okay, so I pushed too hard, but actually that was kind of cool. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's easier to come to you and let it do the work. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let it do the work. If you try to push too hard, you can smush it. I actually love those colors together. Yeah. You think it's going to be insane. It's like gold. Yeah, but it's really not. All right, so walls... Where else, where else did we talk about? You know, when I first moved in here, we, um, we stenciled, sorry, getting a set. We stenciled the, um, I don't think this one's going on YouTube. It's a hot mess today. <laughs> I put them all on YouTube every week. I'm just like, no, we'll redo this one. Maybe. Cheers to that. Um, I did um, drop cloths and I put stencils all over. Oh, yes, metallic silver on a gray wall. Nick, great idea. Um, and this would have been so much easier. Because mm -hmm. I just laid down the stencil, and then I rolled over the stencil, and then I let it dry, and then I had to wait. Man, if I'd had this, mm -hmm. that would have been so nice. I was so thinking nice. of doing a turquoise color with metallic s silver stenciled on in one of my bathrooms in the house. I like that. I know what you said we were going to do. You said we were going to do three different colors on one roller. Right. Why don't we just put blue on here and then put it on to the, um, the neutral background. So that's the other thing you can do with these, you guys, is um, put a different color. Like right... Where was that? <laughs> I stuck it up on the Whoops. top of the shelf. You know. All right, so I'm going to put the green on one side. Actually because we love to mess up our brushes. I'm gonna put the green in the middle. All right, what other color do you want to go on either side? Hmm. What is going on upstairs? Okay. Maybe that turquoise. That's that turquoise? There. Yeah. So what people will tell you is don't ever take a brush of one color and put it into another color. Do mm -hmm. I ever listen? No. Never. But you're not the only one. I was watching somebody the other day. I'm not the only one? Yeah, even even Jennifer Ferguson does that. <gasps> she double dips? She double she dips. She George Costanza's? Yes. Rock on. So I'm putting it on like this. I don't know. I haven't tried this before, but let's give it a shot. And I'm kind of pressing it up as I go. I love these colors together. All right. Do we have something to put it on that's going to show up? How about the reverse side of that? Okay. Let's do this. Okay. I don't know, but that's those two colors. Where's the where's the brown board? On the other side. Of you this? Put it on. Oh no, here we go. All right, let's do that. Make it tray. Out of the way. I even said to myself, make sure, make sure, Sue, that you put your your um See, Jennifer Ferguson always has it all nicely set up. And we were gonna, till we ran out of power. Power. Okay, ready? I love this! Wait, I'm pressing too hard. Hold on. I think it's easier if I pull it toward me. Oh, yeah, you guys. It ain't pretty. I mean, it's pretty, but I just, I pushed too hard. But look at how the colors went together. And I'm usually the I'm gonna one do that again. Handed. I know. Let me see. Yeah, it's better I don't when like you that pull better. It. Okay, that's gorgeous. Look at that. So they all kind of mush together. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Love it. 
I really, I actually like it on the faded burlap. I don't think I've ever used faded burlap. Lisa, yes, floors. Um, as a matter of fact, Miss Lisa, I am doing a blog, well, a non-blog. Remember what I'm doing? Not for resale. Hashtag not for resale, where I'm doing it through Facebook stories and Instagram stories, where I'm redoing my house, not for resale, because everything I'm doing to my house, a realtor would say no. If you ever want to sell your house, don't do a black, red, orange, and blue mural in your daughter's room. <laughs> right? Don't put... No a, bright colors. Right? Don't paint your porch lime green. There's a few things. Don't paint flowers on your peeling linoleum. Did they even recommend about uh, mixing different types of styles of furniture? You know, like... Who? What? Whoever this article came from. Oh, no. I mean, there's... I just know from selling houses and having to go back in and paint them all white mm. numerous times. I've sold numerous houses and have to go in and do paint jobs all oh. the time. And okay. so this time, um, I don't care. I don't care. So my point was, Lisa, I'm repainting the porch floor because it is lime green, but I thought doing this on the edges and making it look like a big Moroccan rug yeah. yeah. So I would say, like, get a friend. You can't have mine, but find your own and mix up your paints and then just go and just go all around the outside, right? Mm -hmm. And then just go in. Oh, maybe multiple colors. Yeah. Oh, not for resale. Okay. So, do y'all, are y'all getting the gist of um, why these are so fun? So, and we have lots of different ones. There's ones with leaves. And they don't all have to be kind of baroque. We have um, crocodile, right? Crocodile, and I know there's like a snake skin, a python, I think. Yeah, we have a bunch, and we can order whatever one you want. So, mm -hmm. watching now for resale. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, basically. So the porch is next. Um, Sadie wanted to do. We did Sadie's room last week. Sadie wanted to do the attic, and I said, "It's too damn hot for it's that." Too damn hot for that. That's Are you exactly crazy? what I said. Um, and I gave her something, and I want a room. I want a room for me. Mm -hmm. um, it's my turn. Yeah, this, it's my turn. This. All right, so let's play around with some stencils. I really like this color combination. I do too. I'm thinking I'm going to use something similar for those bronze silk curtains I found at Goodwill. Curtains, you guys. Mm hmm. Jeans, curtains, chairs. All kinds of stuff. We could not have stenciled that purple chair. Oh, God, no. Going around edges, that's the thing. Going around the edges of something, like the curve of a chair, rocking. Mm -hmm. A stencil would not have held down. It would have been a hot mess. Oh, my God. Trying to tape it down or, or anything to just keep it still right. so you don't bleed, have any bleed through. So, pots. Hey, yeah. Pots that you could you can just go... Right? Mm -hmm. Anything that's curved, these are great. So you can do a stencil on a curve. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use them for some mixed media, things like that. Okay, but stencils are still awesome. So let's show them. Let's show them. I a made. Stencil. Let's show them a stencil. Look at this mess I made. It's kind of. I think I'll sell it. What do you want to call it? It's. um. Now, the thing is, is which. It's, a, it's my landscape. What? Which stencil do we want to use? Oh, goodness. Do you guys There's have so a vote? Here. Do you want something Moroccan, mid-century? I want to see, I really want to see one of those really lacy ones, I have to say. Okay. I want one of those really, really lacy ones. Did I use up all our boards? Well, I don't know. What's on the flip side? Uh, we don't want to use that one on the flip side. What? This one, maybe? Oh, here's a black one. Here, here, here. Let's do this. All right, so we've got the black. We have some leftover mastic on it, but that's okay. It'll work. This kind of reminds me of an octopus. All right, you want to do this one, Miss Agnes? You want to take wanna the do honors? Or do you want to do the chandelier one? It's a little bit smaller. It might fit better. Okay. So, Agnes, what do you think about just using this roller instead Go of putting in it. a new roller? Go for it. So, you guys, you can just use Take these the as rollers. Take off. the stamping part off. Now, what's really important, you guys, though, when you're doing 
stencils. A couple things. Number one, if you are doing it on a wall, yes, we're gonna do that, Nick. Um, if you are doing it on a wall or something vertical, mm -hmm. we like to spray a little bit of spray adhesive on the stencil on the stencil itself just a little bit because that way it'll stick down and you won't have bleed through the other thing is um off i always want to say off gassing it's not off gassing off loading it's off loading so take your now we've already used this a few times i think it's probably well offloaded but let's let's test it anyway so take a paper towel okay and um or uh, a dish rag or your husband's pajama top whatever okay and then and then i'm just gonna um i'm just rolling this a little bit okay just just to get it off because that's where you run into that over bleed all right i'm gonna let agnes do this so let me get let me get set up so everybody can see pull it up a little bit there Y'all see? Okay, go ahead, Miss Go. Okay, let's move that. And up. you can tape it down if you're, you know, or if you don't have a friend. Feel free okay. to come up here so you can see. Is it is it allowing you to push in well enough from that angle? Okay, so. Do we want to? I don't think you got all the black. This roller might not go in well enough. Well, it's getting there. It's kind of funky. I think it'll be, um, you want to see? Ha, huh. go ahead. I just took a peek. She does that. She sneaks a peek. Ooh, that's pretty funky. It's an illusion. Look at that, you guys. So using the different colors to go through and do that pattern, I like that very much. Now, I do want to show them the same thing maybe, but uh, with a with the other kind of roller, so you can press down more. What okay. do you think? Oh, the red ones. Well, I'm gonna go right over yours if you don't mind. Go ahead. Okay, since we're just testing. So another thing you can do with these rollers, just like the other, is to just keep. Um, keep overlapping them so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put some purple on here okay just so we can see what it looks like with um, a different kind of roller because I feel like that one worked really well except that you couldn't push in enough it seemed like did it did you feel like that yeah and I think maybe the other thing is that there's this board underneath underneath here that maybe made the pressure the pressure off okay yeah so make sure you have it on a flat surface instead of a... Oh, okay. All right, so I'm going to off roll a little bit, get it off, and then I'm going to just go right over here with firm but consistent. Oh, I love all these colors together. Look at that. So it's kind of mushing them. Yeah, we might get some... And what I like, you guys, is just kind of like pushing it out and, and letting it fade out to the end. Like, it doesn't have to be exact. She's all about the fade out. I'm all about the fade out. I am. Do you think it's part of my singing thing? Maybe. Okay, ready? Yep, that looks good. <laughs> I'm going to do what Agnes does. <gasps> We're messing with you. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. There you go. It's got that psychedelic. Vibe it does. It. It's very um I like it's very like graffiti esque. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So all right, is there anything else you guys? We're not going as long today because yeah. we weren't Heaven forbid the you know what goes out again. Yeah, we kind of got off to a weird. It. We kind of got off to a weird start. Uh, I want to put another color on. What could we do that wouldn't totally mess it up? What about the, the red? Orange? Ooh, how about I drag this to the red? Okay. And do that. All right, my phone's like. All right, so I'm just gonna drag this through the rest of our red colors. There we go. 
How's that? All right, pick me out another pattern. And we're just mixing up chalk paints and DIY paints tonight, you guys. Just everything. Here, we can put it, we'll put it over this one. We'll put it over this one. It's just so fun to layer the stencils over and over again. Oh, the, here. Here, can we do my crazy one? Yes. Oh, actually, no, I want to do this one. That's the one I was looking for. Okay, I want to do this one. I want to do this one. I want to do this one. Okay. I know, isn't the purple amazing? All right, so I'm going to go here. All right, I'm gonna, I got it loaded up. You can't really tell, but it's kind of a red and purple mess. All right, wait, hold on, watch out. There we go, okay. So then, I, I just love having different colors on the brush. So you guys can go light if you want it, or heavy. I'm gonna add a little purple. And then I'll fade out. Fade out. What do you think? Do you think it's going to be brilliant or hideous? Yes. Votes, huh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What do you think? Okay, let's see. Now for the reveal. The reveal. I think it's awesome. Hold it up, Agnes. I don't know about you, but this kind of reminds me it's what? definitely got a coral. <gasps> yeah. In an ocean. It does. What about you? Do you think? I like it. The fans on the, yeah. I like it too. And I like, I like the blue and the green. Y'all can't see the, it looks really brown here, but it's actually quite red. It's just that we don't have our lights on well right now. I like it. I like it very much. All right. I'm you so guys, glad it didn't go brown. Huh? I'm so glad it didn't combine to make brown. Well, it is nice that when it when it does that. That mm -hmm. it doesn't. Um, I just had uh -oh. my hand there. Oh, now she dropped her wine. Was that? It was just a few drops. Goodness me. Okay, so um, a little bit of housekeeping, kiddos. Oh, refill. would you like some wine? No, okay. I was gonna go to the pool, but it's still raining. It's just been raining all week. A little bit of housekeeping. So I'll put it on YouTube. I mean, it's a hot mess. We'll, we'll redo tonight probably with power when we're not using a phone um, for our lighting. But we are putting these not only on, remember, the blog. Say it. The blog. The blog. We're putting them on the blog. So um, there, I'm downloading them all. It's a pain in the ass, you guys, so you better watch it and tell your friends. So I'm downloading them from Facebook, okay. and then I'm putting them on YouTube, mm -hmm. and I'm putting a little thumbnail so you can find it, and then I'm putting that back on the blog. Okay. She's amazing. I, I've done three. <laughs> Well, say, my daughter's helping so me. so hard. I do. Sadie's been helping me with um, my thumbnails because okay. it, it needs to be bold and brave. Um, but it also needs to be informative so, and, and consistent. So I'm working on that. So we're okay. hitting everything. So check us out. If you've missed any of the other weeks where we've done resin, alcohol ink, color theory. God, what else have we done? A lot. We have we, done a lot. We've had a lot to drink. <laughs> Hmm? Did we do any fabric painting yet? Mm -mm. No, we hadn't. No really fabric paintings for the private. The, the private group. Mm -hmm. It'll be open again in September if you want to be in our private group. We drink even more there. Yeah. <laughs> and, we go, and we go on shopping spree. So anyway, thank you guys so much for coming tonight. Um, and I have planned out the next few weeks, but I think I want to do a poll. And see what you guys want to see. Do you guys want to vote now for next Friday night? It'll be July 6th. No, I asked Community it'll Forklift. Be, it'll be July 20, June 29th, next Friday. Oh. Yeah, I won't be here for July 6th. Oh. I'll be in Texas. Okay. I wish I could be here for July 6th. Well, I asked Community Forklift if we could go live from 
forklift first Friday. So if you're friends with anybody there, put some pressure on them. Right. Because we tell can have them some you fun. Want. You tell them you want. Yeah, if only Tango would sue was here. Right. And the ghost of accidental Agnes. I'll just talk to you like you're there. Well, you know, maybe we Maybe could... Debbie could come. Or Pam. What? Maybe I could just join you live. <gasps> Wait a minute. Texas. The magic of technology. <laughs> we could do a split screen. I hear that's been done before. <gasps> <gasps> Cheers to that. All right, everybody, have a safe and fantastic weekend. We hope you learned something. Um, if you want, come on in and you can see we've got like 20 of those awesome stencils and about six or seven of the roller stencils for your porch, your wall, your dog, your curtains, you name it. Cheers. Cheers. Good night, everybody.